First off, we've finalized um, the layout for the bus, so I'm gonna start building it because I found this super sick bus. They're called Number Juan Bus. They actually ended up doing a lot of the stuff that we wanted to do on our bus. So it was really cool because I could see how they did it and I could add my own twist to it. But shout out to Number Juan Bus for helping me understand how to build a lot of the stuff because I was at a loss for a lot of things. I'm gonna go get some lumber from Home Depot. I bet that sounds really exciting to you. Oh, you're talking to me? <laughs> Whatever. All right, see you later. This is kind of what it looks like. So I got to build this box. And so it's going to be a couch that turns into a bed. So this is the sliding portion of it. I also want to put hinges right here because it'll open up to be able to have storage underneath. So let's go. I realized that we have all this recyclable metal in the back of the truck that we salvaged off of the bus. We're gonna run to a recycle yard really quickly before we go to Home Depot to see if we can get some cash for all this scrap metal. I gave them 180 pounds of metal and it came out to $3.24. That is absurd. Well, how do I spend this $3? We'll find out. I'm heading into Home Depot. I'm not gonna bring you guys in there because it's boring. And then I'm gonna spend that $3.25. Ah, ah. So now, I just need to assemble it. So I'm gonna put five of these across now to attach to this. This piece is gonna be the one that connects to the bus. If you want whatever you build to be stronger, use wood glue. Even if you're putting screws, just a tab. Matt, that was way too much. Hmm. <laughs> Cause this'll glue the two pieces together and wood glue is extremely strong on top of the screws that you're gonna have there also. So this piece is the base for the couch. We're pretty much ready to mount this thing. So we can mount this in the bus if we want. Let's do it. Dude, did that fit perfectly? Dude, that fits perfectly. I didn't even plan that. <laughs> Hold on. You probably should have measured it, right? I don't know if that means that he didn't measure it, which scares me a little bit, but I don't know. It turned out right. <laughs> did you not measure it? Well, I, so here's the thing. I knew this was gonna be 15 inches tall. I didn't measure this because I just imagined I was gonna have to mount it to the wall, oh. you know? But it, the fact that it's resting on this perfectly, I didn't oh, expect. I you see, see this yeah. little lip right here? Yeah. Bro, completely level. Perfect. <laughs> like literally. So I'm about to mount this to the wall. I'm gonna hinge it to the wall. So that way the couch is able to be lifted up because we're gonna have all the batteries for the solar power and everything underneath it. I ran into an issue. I was gonna mount this to the wall over here, but it's not grabbing to this right here. I'm gonna take off all of this metal paneling. That way I can mount this um, and then go from there. Wash it. Okay, so the plan, I'm gonna paint it gray with this um, over the whole thing, and then I'm gonna spackle it in between the bricks so it gives it a nice, like, real texture. And then I'm gonna kind of texturize it with a white primer so that it can be all nice and white and clean. Dang. Oh, you woke up. What's up, sleepy bye? We also heard your guys' cries and we bought safety goggles, so. Let's go see how Nicole's doing. Dude, everybody's sleeping on broccoli, man. Stuff ain't that bad. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> Awkward. <laughs> I haven't even started. I was just trying to figure out how to pair my GoPro to my phone, but it wasn't pairing. Anyway, I just stuck it up there just now, so now I'm just starting. All right, well, I yeah. came to see your progress. Uh, 
died on us. <laughs> I was going too slow. So this is actually gray. Uh, I'm gonna put like the spackling paint in between. I'm gonna like kind of sponge paint it white. Like the wall for like the shower, we'll probably put it. The backsplash for like the kitchen, possibly. Um, like so little, you just like, like accent pieces. Cut it? Yeah, we'll cut it afterwards. Mm. Once you start like measuring stuff out. Oh, just long enough. Look at that. Dude. This looks dope. You should keep it. Oh well. You block of wood. I'd never go anywhere without my lucky block of wood. <laughs> So these are the studs that are gonna go underneath the windows. So we just finished putting in all the studs for the uh, side of the wall. I put these ones a little bit lower just so I could mount this couch to them. Before I mount anything to the walls or anything like that, we're gonna go get plywood from Home Depot and cover this back up. So we kind of took it off and then just put the studs and now we're gonna cover it back up with plywood. And then I'm gonna be able to mount that um, and then mount like the kitchen and the bathroom and everything to these studs now. But I see, I saw a lot of people on the internet, they didn't really have brackets or anything. They just put two screws kind of diagonally into here. It's a lot less stable in my opinion because I feel like um, the wood is more vulnerable to split and break apart. So I put these brackets here and these things are like, these things are solid. Now all we have to do is just put the plywood, make it look pretty, and then we can start actually building the furniture and mounting it to it. Gorgeous. Gotta say, purple insulation's pretty hipster. Oh yeah. What are your thoughts? Look at this whole section. And then tell me what you think. This whole section? Yeah. With all this, do you like this better? Do you like this better? Uh, do, you like, do you like lighter? Like this is kind of the smoother without any of the texture on it. This has texture on it. These pieces over here. This like is just this. texture, no paint. I think this is too dark. I almost like it like over here where there's like, cause you can see some of the gray, like this looks washed out. That's what we said too, that's what he said. Yeah, we both didn't like this. See, we could almost get something like that. Yeah. I think we're all going for the same look. Yeah, just we trying are. Let's try to find out. that. The best way to do it. Yeah. I'll test one tile. Use Maybe this. I'll test this one. Let's finish this plywood up. Is it lined up on that side? Yeah. I hope it is. Okay. Yeah. All right. I didn't even ask. Doesn't this guy look like the guy from the Cheetos commercial? It looks like a ripoff. So we're about to mount the couch to see if it'll hinge up properly. If it all falls apart, Ashley built it. All right, I think we're in business. I'm gonna try it. You wanna try? Lift that side. Okay. Ready? Yeah. <gasps> Yo. <laughs> nice. That is so sick. Look what I built. I have another front frame in the garage right now that's gonna rest right here. So you basically connect the planks to this one and this one alternating. And then the planks that are all connected to the front one will slide out. I think that's a good day's work today. Oh gosh. Why did you do? Dude, you're killing it with that brick over there too. Thanks. Let's go look at it real quick. Okay. So we have the original darker gray over here. Yes. I added more tackling to this, so I painted it light gray. I like this. It doesn't look too washed out still. Uh, I like that. This is too contrasty. This is just yes. the right amount of contrast. That's okay. what I was, yeah. We found this is the best uh, result that we got. Um, Nicole had to play around with like gray and white and like mix it to get this like really nice, almost like a light blue hue. This is a really light gray on the bottom, which we painted the whole brick quite a few trials and I've learned the easier way to do it. So everything's gray and then I started laying down this in between each brick and then we realized okay it's too dark we don't really like it. The gray's too dark, the white's too light so we mix the two paints together 
we got this gray and then what I'm realizing now that I'm doing it is we've had to go over each brick and paint it the light gray and it still gets paint on like in between in between this so I'm gonna have to touch up like the in between with more spackling the one that we're gonna do next I'm just gonna do all the paint first and then I'm gonna do spackling last I'm gonna go in between all the brick when it's all painted the color that I want so that I don't have to like do steps over and over again yeah so, so.